All right, Joe, decks and drafts. A little bit of a new format because I'm trying something new. This is kind of what I wanted to do with this channel, which was actually just shoot the shit with people and drink and play games. So with me in this absolutely, we have no fucking clue what the hell we're doing trial run uh, is Mitch, uh, who is idolizing his beer. But um, Mitch Murray out of Oklahoma. He's uh, what you're Midtown Merchant, right? Is that you? Yes, sir. Cool. Middle mid. Yeah, yeah. What are you in a basement garage? I'm I'm in a. I guess you can call it like a carriage house, but it's carriage basically house. a garage. It, it's a detached garage. <laughs> okay. It's so, a furnished detached garage. I don't know what fancy people call it, but we call it a detached garage in my neighborhood. All right. So, so this this is Mitch from Midhouse Merchant, because that's <laughs> roughly where he's at. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm actually in an area near Midtown, so that works too. There you go. So there you go. Yeah. Well, um. As we want to do with this channel, as the whole point of this thing is, we're going to drink. So as much as we can talk about flesh and blood, and don't worry, we're going to do that. But I, I've, I've chat. I was drinking with Bronson earlier today, and I got more for you. Um, I think we've, I think we got other things to talk about. I have to ask the most important question, which is not what are you playing? Uh, it's what are you drinking? Actually, Joe, I think you could tell me more about this than I can. That's I true. Actually, do. I'm. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, sorry. So this is cool. This is one of the things that's super neat. So if anybody else wants to do this, let's rock it out as we figure out Discord. Um, Hold on. <laughs> whatever. He'll figure that out. I'll chat about the beer. So I did a beer trade with Mitch. This is the first time I've ever done a beer trade uh, where he sent me some cool stuff from uh, Oklahoma. I sent him stuff from Colorado, which is where I'm at. Mm -hmm. So I sent him Odell's Woodcut Number 9. Um this is a this is this is their fancy cellar series. They've only done this nine times. They're a thirty tier old brewery. Uh, to give you a little insight of how often that's done, they brewed it for their thirtieth two years ago. Uh, this is vanilla, almonds, dried fruit, aged in an oak barrel, and dry hop to oblivion. Um, it is very experimental and very goofy. Um, but yeah, it's that's from our boys out in Odell's. Uh, and uh, super stoked about that. I'm so awesome. I'm stoked to have you try it, cause it's not for uh, everyone. Well, I like weird stuff, so you might I don't, dig I don't this. Know how to say it. I, I used to work in the. Uh, how would you say? Do should I crack her open right now? Oh, Does we could do right the. This, or do you want to introduce yours? I'll do mine. Where'd you work? Um, yeah, I used to work uh, in the beverage industry prior to doing design and, and product work. So nice. Did all that stuff. I actually almost became a professional barista, as crazy as that is to say. So I like stuff that's not the expected. So there you go. So this will be perfect. Love it. As is part of the beer trade, um, he sent me over from American Solera, Terry yes. Citra. That's what I'm going to be cracking tonight. But not only, not only am I cracking that, because he was gracious enough to send me a pint glass as well. Um... Which is going to go on my wall. Glass I've ever seen too. I don't uh, know if it'll actually make the beer. Uh, it'll, it'll accentuate the beer at all, but it was a pretty badass looking glass. So. I'm a fan. It's going. It's going on the wall. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll just. Maybe. It. I mean, it's my first. It's my first beer trade. First thing with this. So anyway, I'm cracking this bad boy and um, see if I can get a better Ooh. pour than what I normally get on my channel, which is awful. It's like 80% foam. It's like when Ned Flanders was like really mad at his house guests. And he had that brewery in his basement. You know, I pride myself on being a good host, so I'm obliged to offer you a beer. But I'm so darn mad, it's gonna be mostly head. The keg in his basement. Smell it, dude. There we oh, go. I'm so stoked about this. Yes! It, got like the, it has that, you can definitely tell it's oak age. Yep. Cheers, man. All right. Cheers, sir. Let's do this first. Hmm. Let you try to figure that out. I'm gonna flicker my camera because I have autofocus and that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I have that happen. So right off the bat, it has like some really first off, wouldn't call this an IPA. I mean, I, it is 100% an IPA, but there's too many, and I don't know if this is from the oak aging or what, but it's just like super plummy, like almost like 
the fruits are just completely different than what I would expect out of an IPA. It's not that traditional like tropical fruit or no. Um, that that terpy citra that I sense like straight tropical fruit. Yeah, no, this isn't messing around. So that's like their their thing is they just have all different variations of like DDHs. But this is just good summer. This is, I mean, I would just I just want to sit outside and drink the crap out of this. Yeah, the issue is about two in. You're you're not. I mean, for How, me personally, what is this at? I think eight percent. It's like seven or eight. Yeah, it's an eight. So yeah. I I don't have maybe the tolerance that you do, but it's fair in Colorado. I, we do that. Yeah, I I uh, my kids have lowered my tolerance considerably, unfortunately. <laughs> So that's going to happen um, for me in a couple of years. I know it's coming. I know it's God coming. Speed, sir. It's a, it's a whole thing. I'm going to awkwardly take off my shirt on stream here. No, that's okay. So. I mean, we just started drinking. We're already stripping. Like I'm going to get the views like crazy. It's going to be great. There we go. There we go. Now, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Uh, All right. So as, as my friend George would say, now we're cooking with gasoline. Now there we're go. doing it. <laughs> All mm. right, so as far as you the... definitely sent a better beer, by the way, that, huh? that's solid, man. Dude, you definitely the st- sent a better beer. That's such a good beer. All right, now I know. Now I know for next time, but I think you'll still like the other stuff I sent you. Uh, we sent more than just the one for this. He sent me a stout that like ended our day. Um, <laughs> the... <laughs> so, did you do that yesterday? We did it yesterday. Yeah. We uh, yeah, could we? That, yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, we spent the whole day already <laughs> drinking. Like we were already drinking. We were we brew hopped because yesterday was National <laughs> Beer Day, so we had yeah. to partake. Um, and we had a couple. Like we we went around to a couple places and we were we were feeling it. And then yeah, we come back. Your package is on the door. I'm like, oh, we have to do one more. And for some dumb idiot stupid reason, I picked the twelve percent stout. You picked the heaviest one. Yeah. <laughs> and we were just that's it. That's that's <clears> game <throat> over. We're done. So that beer has a is a really cool story too because and I think it like pairs nicely into kind of what we're doing, right? So yeah. they did a collab with uh is it what is it, Weldworks or what's yeah. the brewery out of Colorado? Weldworks out of Greeley. <clears throat> and they brewed it on the way there to do the collab beer. And so there's like snacks in it from like the road trips, like they have like all the like chocolate in it, like it just like all stuff you would just find on the way on the road. Nice. And then they brewed it in the vehicle on the way up. That's awesome. Then, That's some brew dog shit then, right there. And then they collabed in person and then brewed it on the way down. And I don't know That's what so that cool. means. That means but, that they had a um, big ass car. Um, let me let me read about it because I remember like saying, like reading about it and like this is sounds insane. He's gonna figure it out and I'm gonna I'm gonna let everybody else know as we are like seven great. minutes and we're we're staring at each other just talking about beer, which by the way is gonna happen quite a bit. But as far as the game of Blitz that we're doing, he's gonna rock me with Reinar. I've I've been trying to figure out Azalea for like way too long, um, because I think she I think we're all playing her wrong. So I'm trying something real goofy, because she can never seem to hit anything meta unless you get really lucky, and then she's just unstoppable. Which I think is the sign of just a bad, like that's that's an incon- that's a consistency problem. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a little Azalea today. That's how we're gonna rock. And to show just how goofy it is, I have, I have it. I have what you're supposed to do, which is the skull bone. You're supposed to do that. I'm not doing that. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm terrible. I'm going to try the Hope Merchant's Hood. All right. That's what I'm coming at you with. The problem that I have with is yeah, issue that I have with Azalea is she spends too much time trying to set herself up and she runs out of gas like immediately. Um, yeah, she's big on setup. I have never played Azalea, but I love the thought of her. All yeah. right. So I got the deets on the beer. Deets on the beer. What do so we tw- got? 12% Imperial style brewed with coffee, vanilla, chocolate, and snacks. Brewed in collaboration with our friends at Weldworks. This beer was boiled for the entire duration of the road trip between our two breweries. 10 hours and 40 minutes. And it contains a mix of snacks you might enjoy along the way from chocolatey to spicy. That's cool. So I didn't know what snacks was, were. Like, I saw on the side of the can it said snacks. I was like, okay, that's some weird. I mean, that's, that, does, that means something different on the internet right. nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really wanted to send you. They were out of it. Um, I sent you some good ones. But there was one that one of my favorite breweries in Oklahoma as well is called... Um, blanking on the name i'm saying one of the favorite breweries um 
Stone Cloud. They're they're big yes. into DDHs and IPAs as well. Nice. But they did it. They had done it. They call it Suds Buds, and and I really wanted to do that one. It's a nice little seven point, dry hop IPA. Nice. So, I gotta anyhow. get tokens because I'm lazy. Yeah, I got my dice set up for you. I got some fresh tokens. There's a guy named Aaron Carver, who does CY Tempest or Tempest. I feel like I know um, his name. He's out of California. Aaron's definitely in the in the buy group. He's a solid dude. Um, nice. Anyways, he uh, he's giving like a little pack, and so he sends these like little cardboard tokens. Um, I do know him. Buy, like, yeah. I know why yeah, I know him. He's doing, a, he's doing like a kit like you are. He's doing uh, a kit with my kit, which we find. I'm awesome. I'm cool with. Um, That's kind of the hope, right? Yeah. So Hopefully. he's he's uh, he asked me about it because he was like, I really want to include the hero guides that I did. You did in the learn to play kit. Um, I was like, That's fine as long as you don't try to over monetize them. Like if you charge ten bucks oh, for yeah. them, you suck. You can charge sure. five because that's printing and time. Um, yeah, I think he's just charging for the com the components. I don't think mm -hmm. the guide is as much of the the value. I mean, the value it's, add is definitely in the guide, but I yeah, it's not a part of adding that. all the other stuff. So. Yeah, he um, chatted with me about it, um, and I was like, "Yeah, it's it's fine as long as you you know don't remove my name or anything, and, and don't try to monetize sure. the guide." Yeah, <laughs> if you do monetize, I want to have at least fifty percent of it. Yeah, right. Um. Mm. I'd have that beer two yeah, times you... to figure it out. I was like, I don't know um... what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. It reminds me of another beer that I've had, actually, but I can't remember what it is. All right, so I'm bringing out the claws. Bring I'm out going, the claws. I'm, I'm going wide. I'm going to see if I can fix my lighting here. Hold up. So you don't have to just... That's fine. Let's drink more. It's cool. That'll fix the light, right? Yeah, I mean, I can see one of the mandible claws pretty... Well, actually, that actually did really well. That did a lot of work. And then that didn't. So I'm going to do this. And then what I'm going to do, a little bit of this. Am I light No. That kind of worked. This is why I use anti-glare card sleeves, which I actually own in a, on my store. And I'm not even using them for myself. I went like this cool dark fairy. That looks legit. Are they, right. what, what kind of sleeves are those? They're, I don't remember. <laughs> They're from some artist. Hi, Editing Joe here. Her name is Amy Brown. You can find her at Amy Brown Art on Instagram or amybrownart.com. I had to ask the wife because she's more smarter than me. Anyway, I did a music thing, and I'm not going to get rid of it because, I don't know, I, I like the music. So, we're going to do that now. That's like apparently faint. Like my wife knows her, um, okay. And I, which cr weirded me out. Um, <laughs> like, okay. You know more, more Honey, about these uh, things than I do. How do you know about this? <laughs> huh? Yeah, it just it, something something Instagram. It's the answer. It's always the answer. Alright. So you're going to Zela, Azalea. I'm going mm -hmm. Azalea. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you how I'm going Azalea, but I mean. The Hope Merchant Hood should give away that I'm, I'm not just trying to hit real tall. I guess I could here. with it. I guess I could. Got my scabbies. Scabbies, probably, I see. So yeah. I need to determine if I'm going to go skull cap for the extra. I don't really need it. I mean, it gives me some extra armor. Or if I want to go for a big hand <clears throat> and draw and go again. I'm not helping mm. you. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. gotta think this through. I'm gonna go skull cap. Here's the thing. Just for the extra. Arm. If I get I crushed just, like well, in two turns, what do you got? Are we playing? We're playing multiple games, right? Yeah, I mean, if I get crushed like so freaking hard, I'm bringing out the dash intro deck, and I'm gonna see if I can okay. get closer. All right, I'm down. All right. And an anger. <laughs> All right. Um, so, I got 1d6. So go you got 1d6? Are we just going to both roll? We just roll to see who goes first. 
You All don't right. get to use the gambler's gloves. Actually, you can you totally use the gambler's gloves. Three, three. Redo. Hold on a sec. Need to get the loaded one? That's cool. Yeah, that's exactly right. I actually have number died it. Easier to see. Six, right, I got my threes. Bitch. Definitely. Boom. So those those two I'm not using for my, my rolls. That's the roll. That's the die I need. That's the one you need. Uh, <laughs> that's it's the last time I'm gonna use that right. die, so. So I'm going for all the dice rolls. We got my strapping here to get my resources, the scabbies. It's interesting using scab skins too with, with Blitz because I don't feel like I'd trigger it as much. But I don't know of another <laughs> one that I'd want to use. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. No clue. All right. <laughs> um. All right. I mean, I have to be happy with it. Um, you do get those choices. <laughs> so, no, really just thing. so you're aware, yes, sir. I've been so busy selling cards, you are likely going to be well above rules and all those things than I am. No, I got your back. So. I just won't remember what the cards are. Yep. I'll, I'll make sure to make it clear. Alright, so are you going first or second? I'm going first as I fight with the camera again. Man, I hate auto I hate the autofocus. What the hell? That's so what kind of is it a is it a Logitech by chance? Yeah. Yeah, I I had that same issue. I was in a meeting today and I was like, damn it, I can't frustrating. work. So So damn frustrating. I had a nice little bokeh bokeh effect going on. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Um I'm gonna kick it off. All right. Debating going tunic with my build too, but I did yeah. not. Actually, thank you for that. Blunk, tunic. Yep. Start that bad boy off. Um, let's pitch a lead the charge for one. That's gonna use the death dealer. Uh, pop in a headshot and draw. Um. All right. It's kind of so neat. forgive my ignorance here. Yeah. So with the Zayla's ability, ability, basically you get to trigger and put a an arrow face up within your arsenal, correct? So the death dealer Once is what lets time. me put an arrow face up into the arsenal. Of okay. effect is I can put this on the bottom and just flip this bad boy. If it's an arrow, cool. it gets dominate cool but headshot's just going to be an annoying six because it's plus plus two for coming in face up brutal um but but to start off i'm going to come at you with a whopping four ravenous rabble minus whatever this is which is a one so it's going to be a three ravenous rabble okay and i'm going to drink beer it's the beauty of, of having to wait for you <laughs> yeah. I'll block uh, for three with a pack hunt. Okay. Um, My resource counters. Uh, no reactions there. No defense reactions. Cool. That was cute. Has go again though. All right. Um, I'm going to take aim. Next uh, next attack action gets plus three. Uh, reload, oh, which I'm not going to do, but I will pitch for one to send a nine headshot at you. Um, maybe a bit early for that, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it. I'm going to push. Oh, wrong one. Um, I'm going to. Gosh, I don't want to use that. I'm just going to look um, at you as if I can't see your hand. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. That's okay. It's, trying. it's something you get used to. I was wanting to like, I was wanting to like paint it over there, so you <laughs> could like look towards me and not see it, and it just didn't work out as I wanted to. Um, I'm gonna pass to the reaction phase. I got nothing. Uh, do I? No, I've nothing to do. I'm done. I'm. I'm. That was keep. <laughs> All right. All yours. I'm gonna pitch for three to play an immovable. Nice. Is that a seven, six? How big is that? That's a five. It's a blue immovable. Okay. Unmovable. You say that's coming for how much? Uh, it's nine, so. I'll take four. Go. I'm getting a little piece of paper. 
Going old school. Nice. There you go. Don't just me in my chest days. Taking for... <laughs> Azalea has 20 health too, yeah? Yep. All right. So I'm down to 16. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. These are my... Um, just so you don't lose sight of this. Oh. oh One, God, two, three, too. four. Reds are stacks of five. Cool. So we I'll always know a quick people. glance. We'll do this here. Uh, boom. Can you see that okay? Uh, Probably, yeah, I can I, I can see it enough. I can see it enough. It's just something. It's just something there. Yep. All right, cool. All right, that's that. That's so the end. Up. Um. All right, so, hey, I was drinking this. with Bronson earlier. I got a question for you. Um, Because uh -huh. we were chatting about uh, old card games that had fan communities that kept it going. Yeah, and I started talking about, huh? Yeah, and that's that's exactly what I was gonna ask. Uh, I was a big Netrunner guy. Um, that's what got me into card games. If really? it wasn't for Netrunner, I probably wouldn't be playing this. Oh shit! What's the uh, what was the draw to that? What was that seems kind of a <clears throat> weird one well, to start I'm a techie. with. Well, I I like tabletop games, mind you. Like I like board games and all that. Um, but Team Coven was a local game store at the time. Lived in Tulsa and. Uh, my nephew was getting into like Yu-Gi-Oh and other things. So I was like, I don't really don't want to play that. Let's go to this place. I heard they have lots of games. Let's just go see what they have. So I went to Team Covenant and like just started talking to them. And they were playing a game. I was like, oh, that looks cool. Like, yeah, it's it's a game where like you're like a hacker and you're trying to hack into this like Mega Corp to like stop their ploys. And like he's the Mega Corp, you're the hacker. And it's like I was instantly like when I heard like that was that was it. I was like, oh, I'm in. That was real cool. And and so I got in around. Gosh, what was that? What cycle did I get in? Oh, I don't remember the names. It was, I know. It was like creation and something creation, rather. Con creation and control? Yeah. Yeah. Shaper so, and HP. And, then I, and I got like way, way way more into it. But it was probably like a year or two after it really got big that I got heavily into it. Nice. I was just chasing all the expansion packs and whatnot. There you go. Um, all right. Hit me. It very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, trying, I'm gonna not that i'm like i'm not rushing you i'm just like all right i'm practicing getting into a groove of like we'll do both at the same time yeah i gotta work on that i'm a talker dude all That's right okay. so we're gonna start with uh i need to hold on I'm gonna put that on the bottom i need to pay one somehow but i'm gonna play an awakening bellow gives uh plus two i'm gonna intimidate and okay. i'm going to go ahead and pitch a savage feast with that two floating resources. Okay, so you uh, you're intimidating. All right, I'm gonna take the one second off the right. So I make, yep, perfect. And I have to go again, and then. I have a feeling it's not done, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave those there. No, I think that's <laughs> accurate. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my two. Uh, to do a mandible claw. Um, yeah, I'm going to yeah, pay two. Um, I have not discarded uh, uh, something more than six attacks, so it does not gain goat again. So I'm coming at you for plus three, uh, plus one. So I'm coming at you for uh, four right now. For four? Yep. Hmm. I know, it's like that weird barrier of like, do I... Do I block it? Do I yeah, I'm like, I don't know, man. Um, I can look at this, right? I My think, card. yeah. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I just, um, it's just face down, so I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Reinar's ability, his intimidate ability, typically when you put stuff into the, uh, mm -hmm. blank on the name, when you banish it, it's actually face up. With Reinar, it's face down. Gotcha. Uh, I'll block three of that with Sigma Shot and take the one. Okay. And I'm going to Arsenal and pass. Cool. All right, so you're at Team Covenant. Loving the hell out of what you're seeing. Yeah, I moved to Seattle after picking up the game and go ham in Seattle. It was just my wife and I there. And nice. they had, as you might imagine, and a killer community there. And so that's really when I started to pick up the game. Nice. I'm going to start with a Whisper. Real quick, I'm gonna opt myself four. Okay. Yeah, that's meaty. Opting is, I'm assuming, your goal with Azalea. Opting super useful. Mm. It's a whole lot of interesting that just happened there. 
Let's go. That's going to go under. I lied. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to go that route. These three on top, just like that. One on the bottom. Um, yeah, I didn't have the pleasure of going to, going to Seattle to play. Um, it would be pretty cool, though. Uh, I also realized I think I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> let's pitch pathing for one to use the dealer. No, I can't do that. I have to do snatch. I have to pitch that. Dealer. Play a pathing helix. And draw. Um, use his alias effect. I love her mechanics. Show you a sick shot. Um, What's sick do other than four damage? Uh, go again. Cool. I didn't know if that was just flavored text or not. Um, yeah, no, God, I'm kind of an idiot there. This is what I'm still, I'm, this is the stuff I'm still practicing. I'm like, okay. Um, cause Sikkim costs, which is what sucks. What's the cost on it? Uh, it just costs one. Can't tell from here. Okay. But yeah. you still gotta pay that. You gotta pitch to pay still. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to just leave that there and own up to my mistake there. I'm still learning. I'm actually just going to call it good. Okay. So who is your, uh, uh, who's your runner in Corp? Oh, man. When I first started, I was really into Gentechi. I'm trying to think who I played Corp. Corp, I just loved just doing meat damage. So I was all about all like, that HB life. But like I couldn't get to work. Um, or uh, not, not HB. Uh, HB was like the cognitive. Yes, yeah. Waylon. HB was, so. was brain damage. So... Permanent, yeah, which permanent was also discard, cool. permanent hand reduction. Yeah, in terms of like runner though, man, it I never could like dial in a runner that I really loved. I mean, like I loved it, like the anarchists and just like how they just wanted to see the world burn. But it got to a point where it just like was so just, negative. Just prepping for that in advance so I could just drink. Um, I was all criminal. So, so you did pass? Oh yeah, criminals. I mean, all about make that money, right? Yep, I pass. It's all you. It's 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 you. Um, I'm actually probably not gonna intimidate you, but I might. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do this turn because it's a weird turn. I just wanna hold the beer. Um, <laughs> uh, you do you, man. All right. <laughs> um, so I have no cards with go again. I don't have Snapdragon. I could pause. I probably need to put that in my deck. Um, but I'm just gonna go with Savage Feast. So it's an additional cost, play Savage Feast, discard a random card. So you're actually going to discard for me. Okay. Which one do you want? Take that middle one. All right. So I discard a Beast Within. A Beast Within is put into your graveyard from anywhere other than Combat Chain. Banish the top card of your deck and lose one until you hit a, a six. So banish. So I'm going to lose one health. All right. Got that one. Got a Predatory Assault. So I'm going to lose one health. Okay. I think, I think I did that right. My first time playing with Beast Within. I actually had to get this since I sold all my crew cards on the side. Does that do anything else, or is it just like that? Sounds like it sucks so for you. It, it's like it's like a tutor basically. So, but oh. it being so, uh, you if it's put into your graveyard other than from the combat chain, anywhere other than the combat chain, you banish the top card of your deck and you lose one health for each one that you do. Um, but once you find one that's six or more attack you put it into your hand and but you just keep repeating the process i've seen people like lose like four or five health off of it oof um so all right so i'm coming at you uh for four right now for four all right and i don't have to worry about that yep. um i think i'm just going to enjoy that that's not as bad as that could be and i'm going to take my four sounds good that's what i like to hear i didn't think you so. have an issue <laughs> And I actually did not pay one for that. So I'm going to pitch a massacre for that. Okay. I'm really rusty on my mechanics here. Apologies. You're good. So. 
All right. My go. Yes, sir. All right. So let's. Tunic is charged up. Um. Nice. Now you can play that sick him shot. Yeah, Pull right. Pull free. Yep. <laughs> just took you. Just took three turns. Um. I'm gonna start with a plunder run. Okay. Uh, this hits. I draw a card. Spend my tunic to send up four sickum shot at you. Okay. So if it hits, you draw a card. If it hits, I draw a card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna block with that predatory assault and. Throw a scabby in there. Throw a scabby? Is that all four? Mm-hmm. That's all four. Okay. <clears throat> cool. So let's go again. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. I've got no re I got no reactions. Get used to that. <laughs> you don't you have no reactions, yeah. I, I was I was hoping. Um <clears throat> all right, so that's that's that. Let's go ahead and pitch for two. Okay. Um one of those is a death dealer. Um to throw a red in the ledger into the arsenal. Um, it lets me draw. Good old arse. Mm. <clears throat> I used one. I'm just going to spend the other one to come at you with a five. Keep it easy. Brutal. And red is the, if it hits, you get one action, one action alone. What happens if it hits? I'm sorry. You get to activate one and only one action. Oh, that's like Brute's Nightmare, right? Mm-hmm. So I know it's going to hit. I'm debating how hard I want it to hit. <laughs> it's fair. I mean, I figure even if it doesn't hit and you, you burn your whole hand blocking it, you're probably just taking one action. Red does exactly what she wants it to do. Mm. If not better, because you discarded cards. Right. I'm actually going to do a full block. I'm going to block for a six with a smash and a pack hunt. All right. Um... Any reaction? Sorry. I'm thinking. Is this the one... Is this the one turn that you're going to come over? Yeah, no. Um, you, you have one in hand? I have one in hand still. One in hand. And one in arsenal. Okay. It's been in there since turn zero. <laughs> or turn one. I feel like that did exactly what I wanted to do. I'm gonna just let that get blocked. Nothing cute. Um, all right. Into the arsenal. Call it a day. So you really just went from Netrunner to Flesh and Blood? Did you do anything in the middle? No, I did some stuff in the middle. I played Transformers TCG for some kicks and giggles. Did Star Wars Destiny. I'm just gonna drop and pass. Jump past. I good. lost a lot of tempo there. Yeah, I probably should just let it hit. To be honest. I, said, I mean, it. I got what I wanted out of it. So. <laughs> yeah, you really you, you made a good turn there. I I just I, I'm trying to build up for a big turn right now, and I'm just not pulling the cards that I want. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I'm going for. Um. Go. Yeah. So I did uh, Star Wars Destiny. Played lots of tabletop games. Nice. Um. Really, chip theory games are really good. If you've ever played those. Which um, ones? Chip Theory, it's a game publisher. Um, hmm, I can't say that I have. They, they make really cool. If you like chips, poker chips, all of their, a lot of their components are built with high-end poker chips. They're really cool. Oh, now so I have you to should look check this it out. Up. If, so Chip Theory Games, they uh, have like really cool RPGs. They have one game, or like RPG like S games. Uh, Too many bones is one of them. Okay. I actually have it right here. Nice. So, you find that a lot gonna... of fancy play games. Go cool. Ahead. Uh, Yellow Plunder Run. Next attacks plus two. Draw a card if I uh, if cool. I hit with something. Something. Right. Come at me. 
Um, let's. I'm gonna pitch two. I'm also gonna put one on Vandals because that's the point. Uh, yeah. one of those is gonna pop in a Pathing Helix. Okay. Let's me draw. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Pathing Helix comes at you for five. That's five. And if it hits, I draw. How many cards in hand? Three. I think. I didn't want that to hit. Let me think through here. So I originally debated against Plunder Run, and now I'm like, the tempo I get if this hits is strong. Is strong. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be drawn up to a four card hand again. Now, yeah. Death Dealer won't be able to shoot it. You won't be able to shoot another arrow, right? Uh, if this hits, I get to put something in, from my hand in the arsenal. Because the reload. Uh, it's just it's it's its own specific effect. If you can read. It. Oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah, I can see it there. Yeah. That's awesome. So can Death Dealer fire multiple times a turn, even though? It can only trigger once for you to put something to arsenal, but Correct. if something's in arsenal, you can just fire as many times as you want. You got it. What a dream. All right. Um, Legolas, bitch. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, so how many hit me in for again? Sorry, I got distracted. You're good. Five. I'm going to block for six. Block for six, huh? Um, hmm. Reaction, I'm going to give it a go again. Uh, uh, no attack, no defense reaction. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Why? Um, all right, so I bye. Do, I, do have, I have an immovable or two in here, you know? Sure, it's fair. Got to uh, hold up against Arinthia. <laughs> so first he'll just route me and i'll just i'll just cry so, slowly <laughs> there you go all right with my go again we're gonna knock knock the death whistle getting myself an arrow putting it on top yeah you're knocking something i am knocking something um I'm gonna, man, this is. I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try something a little goofier here. Two in hand. It's gonna be Helix on top. Okay. I said I'm trying. I'm trying some new shit. I'm trying something. It's a little working different. so far. I'm on the defense. I'm waiting for for the power turn coming on on my end. That's there. But but you're keeping the pressure on. So we're, I'm seeing if I can hold on long enough. On top, I get a reload out of that. Which is a that. Goes in the arsenal. Okay. Uses alias yeah. effect, finally. <laughs> nice. Show you a helix with dominate. Sounds good. Four coming at me with dominate. Is the pitch is zero? Huh? Oh, you saw the resource floating. Oh yeah. How much is it? It's zero to it's zero to play. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, so what's it come at me for four? It's coming at you for four. Anything happen if it hits? I get to do an arsenal. Now I realize that was, that was kind of a crap play. For some reason, I thought I had an action point after that. I don't. So whatever. I'm still learning. Still learning, guys. Right. I'm going to say the beer's it. kicking in. It's my excuse. Hey, that's always that's a great excuse. All right. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go down to 11. Taking okay. four from 15. All right. Um, that goes into the arsenal. Are you at, are you at 15 health right now or 15. 16? 15. 15. Cool. Um, All right. Yeah, if um, I had go again, that would have been a much cooler turn. But oh, it, for sure. I didn't, so whatever. Two, three, four. All yours. Let me think this through. I'm debating if I want to go for the big boy turn. I'm going to go ahead and roll my scabs. Okay. Uh, all right. 
So five, so it's going to round down to a two. Okay. So two extra action points this turn. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to pop my bark bone strapping. All right. Even though I haven't had, even used it to block. <laughs> Next time. Ooh, five. Rounded down, so that's two extra resources. Yep. Equal to half the number. Oh, All shit. Right. So All right. Two extra resource points. I'll put those here, and I'll just convert them real quick. Just to make it easier. Um, so I'm going to start off with a barraging beatdown. Okay. Um, so I'm going to intimidate, and my next attack will get plus four, and I go again. Boom, 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 boom. All righty. Um... You get to pick. Yep. Uh, let's do the far left one. Yep. That idea. Was that a good one? I mean, I'm not pleased if that helps. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to pitch a CNC to play Alpha Rampage for three. So cool. four plus nine coming at you for 13. Is there an intimidate on that one? It's coming for three. Uh -huh. It's an additional cost to play it, too. I have to discard a random card. So if I don't have any cards in my hand, can I play that or no? You can't, because it's a part of the cost. Okay. Okay, so that's good to know. So, so you want to just, just gonna command see, and conquer. I'm just going to see. I'm just going to command and conquer you. That's fine. Uh, so not even that at all. Um, I'd be totally fine. So I'm coming at you for 10, then. Coming at me for 10. Mm-hmm. And I totally just burn a scap skin and some resources on that one unnecessarily, but we'll, we'll let it happen. I mean, if it helps, I liked what's in, what's, what was in the arsenal. Actually, Go hold on one second. Yeah. Hold on. Let me think this through. Sure. So I have two resources here. Yeah. I only have two action points, though. So I'm wondering... Well, let me... wonder real quick. So... I could, uh, I'm trying to learn from this hand. I'm still going to play it the way I did, so I'm still going to see and see you. So I have two action points here. That life health is messing, me, messing with me. So spent that, got go again. But if I had actually pitched this... If you pitched that, you alpha rampage me. Then I alpha rampage you. But the uh, my more of my thought is, oh, I'm, still, I'm just short on resources, the biggest thing with this turn. So I shouldn't have gone as heavy as I did. My issue is I'm, I'm just short on resources. So even if I alpha rampage you, I still have to pitch the command and conquer. Mm -hmm. So I would double intimidate you for nine, but it still would not be worth it. I'm just going to see and see you. Okay. So I was thinking that through. And I just have a lucky scab skin roll. There you go. All right. So I'm still dealing. Mm. I needed a tempo swing, so that's why I burned my strapping fair enough and i want to kill what's in your arsenal i don't want you to um i'm fine with you blocking 10 damage God, it's it is freaking 10 freaking damage <laughs> yeah it sounds like i got a boring turn ahead of me is is and you what's... can't do any defense reactions too yeah, no, I, I cracked that. So, this is a perfect time to pop the uh, Hope Merchant Hood. You gonna op what's the Hope? Is it for an opt, opt two? Uh, destroy Hope Merchant Hood, shuffle any number of cards from your hand into your deck, draw that many cards. Um, well, since I'm sitting on an Irina's Prayer and a Defense Reaction, that's not helping not me. Not the ideal turn. Yeah. yeah so that's actually pretty smart. So then you can kind of open your chances for defending on this one, potentially. Yep, pretty much. Uh, as oh, well as getting it. something yeah. I can attack with. <laughs> no, I dig it. Two, three. I feel like such a new playing this game right now, but I'm digging it, man. Oh, freaking hell. Well, it looks like I'm blocking. Freaking hell. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I think I'm taking... Is that how I want to do that? Mm. I'm blocking three. All right. So you're going to take... Can't do math six. I'm taking... You hit me for nine, no, right? You're, you're hitting me for ten. So yeah, I'm, I'm hitting you I'm hitting for ten. I, I, yeah, I'm coming with a plus four. So I'm hitting you for 
You're taking seven. Taking seven. Down to seven. Hi there. Editing Joe again. You'd think a card gamer would be decent in math and know that 15 minus 7 is, is 8 and not 7. But I thought I had 14 health because I totally missed this. I hope Merchant Hood. Yeah, uh, what? That... Thanks, Hope Merchant's Hood. Totally didn't realize I, I knocked a token off, but whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm still blaming it was the beer, but whatever. It's a casual game. It probably doesn't affect the outcome. I don't know. I'm in the middle of editing it right now, but, you know, figured I'd stop in and check. Thanks for sticking around. Back to it. All right. I have no Buy attack that reactions, scene. as you might imagine. And you know what's in my arsenal right now, so... I do know it's in your arsenal, which I'm super so. stoked about. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, I just drove in a, I just drew in an immovable, so uh, that'll help. Immovable. So that'll really help with the next one. <laughs> oh, this next turn is really good, if you don't come at me too hard. Uh, I'm not coming at you too hard. I'm, I like to hear. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just hitting you with a snatch for three to start. If it hits, you get to draw a card, eh? If it hits, I draw a card. That's all you're doing the entire turn? You don't have anything that can trigger go again, right? I mean, not on the board. Right. You don't know what's in my hand. That's true. I'll pitch a pack hunt. Okay. Takes Block three, three or blocks three. Yep. Uh, I got nothing. Uh -huh. Same. Cool. Goes into the arsenal. All of you. All right. Um, Raging beat down blue. So coming at you with for plus two intimidate. Um, I'll take the second from the left. And then I'm going to go ahead, play the Alpha Rampage from my arsenal, pitching a blue immovable, paying for it. And uh, as an additional cost, I'm going to discard. So Reinar triggers his Intimidate. And then I'm going to double uh, Intimidate you again with Alpha Rampage. So we'll just take the two off the left. So we're coming at you for 9, 11. Coming at me for 11. Well, I'm going to block two for starters. The nice little defense reaction. I don't have any cards in hand. Thank so it's God. All, all right. I've got to take cover. So I block six. All right. That's pretty good. I think, I, I think that's five I lose. You hit me for 11? Yep. Coming at you 11. Nine okay. plus two. Yep. Thanks, take cover. It did you good. Did me good. Did me proud. So Midtown Merchant, is that purely, that's purely flesh and blood then since you're not in other, yeah. other stuff or? Yeah. So Midtown Merchant actually, I really enjoy metrics. I mean, so we already talked about my interest in Netrunner and Netrunner mm -hmm. has some steampunkiness to it, right? Right. And, and so that's why I was immediately just drawn to the artwork style of Mechanologist. I, I've never played Dash, but like I have every intention of getting good with her that's just fair. because, just because of Dash, like just <laughs> the Mechanologist class is sick. I've got some it, ideas with like, her. I'm going to try to make Data Doll happen real quick though. I'm going to burn one to Death Dealer, a sick shot in and draw. All right. Is that your turn? Cool. Um, um I'm going to do it. I've got more to Go do. Ahead. We're not done. <laughs> oh, you said draw. Oh, you draw, you're drawn because yeah, my bad. Death Dealer lets me but draw. But I heard draw. I was saying pass. So just clarifying. Oh. Um. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> um. Yeah. So long story short, there's the uh, a part of the metrics war like lore where there's the midtown markets, mm -hmm. and I actually was gonna do a different name and ended up just kind of stumbling upon that. And I was like, Midtown Merchant kind of has a nice little, you know, got yeah, some alliteration, the alliteration going, going on. My initials are, are M and M, so I was like, this works. Yeah. Go ahead and play. That works. Um, there's a two, one, three sick shot with Let's go again coming at you. Okay. Uh, uh, I actually didn't even think about the fact that it's also the same as your initials. 
I should space that. Yeah, that's not intentional. Yeah, it's, just it's cool. also like I'm like right next to like an area called Midtown. There's a Midtown area of Tulsa, and so it's just like it all just kind of pieced together really well, and it, I think it works well. Um, so I'm still trying to get Sam Yang to do some artwork for me. <laughs> I messaged him on Instagram. He's just ghosted me ever since. I'm just like, uh. Yeah, I'm chatting with Matt. Yeah, I would love... I'm chatting with Matt from Gametronics up in uh, Canada, something, something. There's a Tim Hortons outside. It's Canada. Um, <laughs> but I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm doing his logo and I'm doing his window vinyl stuff. Um, he's like, hey, you did the kit, right? Yeah, you know your shit. So I get to dabble in branding a little bit. Nice. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, because you, you said you had a design background, right? Yeah, I went to college for graphic design. So naturally, I don't have a degree in, or I don't have a job in graphic design. That's, that's just what happens. I'm gonna block with the yellow smash. Covers all three. Yep. Okay. Still got go again though. I know. Um, with that, I'm gonna pop the bracers. Okay. Arrow in the ears. Says the guy who actually sells bracers. <laughs> uh, it's a reload basically. Uh, okay. I think face up though. Yeah, face up. Uh, and it gets plus one, which is gonna okay. be a red in the ledger. Gross. I should have waited. <laughs> Six ledger coming at you. I have underestimated Sikkim shot. It, I blocked it. I should have just taken that one. I'm going to block for six and just block unnecessarily right now. That's fine. I did not, did my job. Um, yeah. All right. That goes under for my next turn. Are you you're still going, aren't you? No, I'm done. I'm just going to energy potion and it's back to you. Hey, that's not bad though. No. It's not one to complain about. No, I'm not mad. Um, all right, let's knock. So knock basically is a tutor for you to go search for one, put it at the top of your deck. Yep. And then you will then put a card in your arsenal to use Azalea to take the card from the top of your deck and put it into your arsenal. Face exactly. Up magic uh, it, it's such like a actual complex mechanic but it's exactly what it would take for you to knock an arrow yeah right you have to go pull it you gotta go pull it from your you know gotta put it put it in there move things around so all right so i'm getting an endless arrow cool for this one that's one of my favorite foils by the way rainbow foils oh, that's have... one of the things i love about pack like crack cracking packs they do spot foiling which is way better than any other foiling I've seen in any game because they don't just foil the whole card. They just like, just a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. If you look at Mordred Ty, he can't even see the damn foil. <laughs> I'm just like sold so many people or like shipped the wrong card because I can't discern a foil from a uh, non foil. It's like sun kiss. Like, you can <laughs> yeah. barely see it. Like, what well, the like, hell, guys? Yeah, it's just like, oh, there's like a little bright dot in the middle. You're like, oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Um, let's go ahead and use Azalea. Saw that coming, I bet. Yeah. Showing an endless arrow. Brilliant. Coming at you for four with dominate. One from hand, huh? One from hand. Now we were talking about Monarch and like if you if Monarch is like light and shadow versions of characters and your specs, how cool it would be to have to do like shadow rangers and light rangers i'm um, so excited about it and one of the things that i was thinking about it chatting with bronson was like if they did lore stuff where the characters evolved and turned from light to shadow as sets went on so you get like shadow specializations i mean i'm trying to think wasn't there like a in netrunner like a thing where you could like switch classes mid go it was like a like reborn or something like that where you could, yeah like, rebirth turn rebirth and then yeah, I just see that card. I'm like, oh, it's so stupid, and then I change your identity. I'm like, what the shit just happened? I had a you um, your one on one. I created a tournament format for Netrunner that caught a lot of steam. It was called Identity Crisis. Uh, yeah, you were telling me about that, where you it would like yeah bring basically two of the same. It's uh well, you build the deck legal to one identity, and then you change identities to anything else. Um, it was nuts. It was so much fun. I mean, can you imagine if you're able to build a deck with two different, like, classes within Fab? 
and you just had like a whole tournament around that where you could just pair any two classes together i mean you almost can and she's ten thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's how it doesn't work but hey we'll let it slide um i like how she's just not viable and everyone's going nuts. no but she's a sexy card i don't know if you've opened one or seen it it I is i i was the middleman of a deal i've never opened one mm. Nor have I ever seen one in person, but I was the middleman of a trade, and I was like, "God, this card is so like." I would just, I would never spend this much money, but I would just buy this card because of how nice it looks. <laughs> All right, you're coming at me for four. Coming I mean, at you for four would dominate. I'm gonna take it. Take it all. Um, any reactions? Yes. Pitch one to reflex and make it seven. Show me that unmovable. I'm going to sigil. Oh, fine. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, I'll not. I have no other rea no reactions. I still got my four. Let's get my yeah. four in. So I'm going to go down to seven. I'll take it. Happy with single digits. What do... Goes right there. I don't know how to show seven. Seven plus four. What a weird... No. I was actually working really well until that happened. All right. Um, Dabbies, All right. what do you got for me? What do you got for me, guys? La Rolo, baby. Me one. Yes! Popping the, pop the gamblers. No! I forgot about those. Do it again. All right. Still one. We'll get one. We'll get one resource point. That's better than zero. <laughs> I forgot about the stupid um, gloves. Damn it. All right. Um, so we're going to play. Oof. Let's see what we can do here. Blood Rush Bellow. Spinning this resource um, as an well, I guess I saw one on top of this, right? So I technically have yeah. two. Yeah. So I'm going to spend one uh, as an additional cost of play. Discard a random card. You pick one for me. Take that left one. This guy. Yep. Beast within. All right. It actually is a four, so I do nice. not trigger until I get off the Rhinar, and I also, yeah. I didn't get go again. I don't. I, I won the fifty-fifty chance on it, so that's in my turn. I'll take it. <laughs> mm. I, had to, I had to spend a resource to do it, so I just went. I just went like totally gambler's <laughs> on that one. Uh, I thankfully didn't pop any energy potions though. That was a bold move, caught, and it did not pay off. It just like, <laughs> burnt my entire hand. So love it. All right. Um, I all was right. really hoping for a tempo swing there because it would have been really nice. Fifty-fifty chance. I kind of have gar. I mean, I kind of have a garbage turn. So, in my uh, head, I was just saying, so you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna Felt miserably. I'm gonna use Azalea and go blind. Wow. Let's see what happens. Bold move, Cotton. I can't bitch. It's Ooh. not dominate, but I'll take a take aim. Ooh, you've been digging that card today too. I like it. All right. So let's take aim. All right. Uh, it's a yellow. So next is plus two. I'll get a reload out of it. Man. Oof. No, we're gonna do it this way. This is this is me this is me trying. This is me trying to do what the deck's trying to do. That's still in play. It's still sitting there being cute. Um Promise of Plenty to start. Coming at you for three. Gets go again because it came from the arsenal. If it hits, we both get to put something in the arsenal if we want. Oh, uh, from the uh, top card of the deck face down in the arsenal. For three? For three. And it has go again. Has go again. Oh, I want to help you help me, but I don't want to help you hurt me. I also mm. sort of forgot that it was the top card of the deck and not from your hand, so I might screw myself on this one, but we'll see. <laughs> Um, I 
Oh, is it from your deck that you arsenal? You said? It's the top card of the deck that goes in the arsenal. Oh, wow. So uh, I spaced uh, that because I'm an idiot. That's why Ridge Rider shots have, in here. You have, you have four, four health right now? I have two health. Nope. Two health. You have two health? Oh. Man. Yeah, you I hit me all hard. This. I'm going to take it. Let's, let's let it ride. All right. So I'm at seven. I'm going to go down to four. All right. Top card in the arsenal. Let's see if he does it. What happened? What did we do? <laughs> Can he do That's it? That's funny for stupid reasons. <laughs> I see. <laughs> All right, promise. All right. I met. I absolutely messed that up, and I own that, and that's my fault. Whatever. I'm still hitting you with a snatch for four. It would bring me down to one health, but I'm gonna try and block it. I appreciate right. you. Um. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel a little better. Um. All right. I'm gonna block with the riled up for three. Okay. Any reactions? No. All right. Hit you for one. Let's me draw. Um. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Forgot about that. Still learning the deck. Oh, was, was that a, was that a red snatch? So that hit me for four. Hit you for four. So mm. I mean, hit you for one. You took one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I would have probably blocked with my scabbies. I messed up on that one. It's all good. It's all right. Down those go, down that goes, I'm gonna draw one. Call it a turn. What are you at? Three? Three. Three to two. Alright. This is gonna be a weird turn. Um, do I do this? I'm going to. Hmm. I'm gonna pop skull horn. What's that do? Draw a card. So Skullhorn says, action, destroy Skullhorn, draw a card, then discard a random card, go again. Okay. So I'm going to draw a card, discard a random card for me. Uh, including the one that was in your hand. So you might want to shuffle. Oh, is that how that works? Okay. I mean, the card is yeah, in your sense. hand. That, so. makes sense. that makes sense. I don't even know what it is. This is exciting. Cool. All right. All right. Let's go with the one uh, to the, your left, all the way, all the way to the left. All right. All right. It is a six, so it triggers intimidate. Really wanted that to be like a beast below, a beast within. That would've been cool. Kill yourself with that. All right. Pick your poison. Uh, we're gonna go far left since you chose that for me. All right. I'm gonna use your subconscious against you. Um. Okay. And and then I'm going to do a barraging beatdown. Shit. For plus four. Um, and then I'm going to pitch an energy potion to play Command and Conquer. So it's 10? Yeah. Well, I don't have a choice. Going all in. Block for nine. Anything? Oof. Down to one health? Down to one. Last life magic. Last life wow. magic. By Tunic. Bye. All right. My turn's easy. Holding on, to our, holding on to our butts. Oh wait, no wait, 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 wait. Sorry, that's that's not what happens. I have a I have an intimidate card. Um. Yeah, let's use Azalea. Should you do it? Judging by the side, I'm gonna say she didn't pull through. Oh, she did pull through! It's a take cover. So, I'm done. Can you play defense reactions if they're faced up from here? I'm assuming I, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine why not. What's it? What's it, what's it take cover for? Do for four. Blocks for four. Blocks for four and a reload. That's pretty sweet. So I'm done. Next turn. I'm good. All right. Let's see how that. 
Let's see how this comes in handy because it's gonna be a meaty turn. I just drew it like the hand of the century. No. <laughs> yeah. I have one life. Um. So we're gonna pop the energy potion to gain two. All right. And yeah, I'm just gonna pop that. All right. So we're gonna awakening bellow, plus three, intimidate, and it goes again. Could be a searing shot. Could be a rend the ledger. Actually, I think I don't, I don't think I have a rend the ledger. Uh, let's do second from the left. And I paid one to do that, and then I'm gonna pitch a barraging beatdown to pay an alpha rampage. Tough for shit. Nine. That's a double, right? Gonna... Huh? Oh, it's gonna be a double. It's a double. It's not, it's not going to be a double because it's not a plus six. So, uh, but I do intimidate you. So intimidate, intimidate. So you're double intimidating. Just do the far off the right. We're going to switch it up. Go off right. All right. So you have two cards to defend for 12. For 12. And you have your defense reaction. So I can block for 10 and die. <laughs> it's the best I can Brutal. do. It's just, it's just so close, too. Ah! Couple misplays. I can't feel bad. I like the way this feels a little bit more. Um, as far as Azalea, I like that. I can go a little wider. I can get a little crafty as far as what generic actions do I hit with before I do stuff. Before I actually hit with the arrow. Like, the struggle that I had is I didn't want... I was tired of Azalea's arrows just being, like, the only thing she does. Because I spend too much time for that. And half the time, they don't go again. So I'm like, can I do things like lead the charge and snatch to draw things? A naturally ravenous rabble. Anytime I can get a razor reflex off, it's great. Um, you were a mistake. That was a mistake. I forgot about that. Promise of, promise of plenty. I it, forgot it was the top theory, card. It makes a lot of sense, right? Like if you can find some way to like opt or like set yourself up to where you know it's on top and then you promise a plenty, then you can set yourself up. Yeah, I just I have to like... I have to build to having the Whisper of the Oracle or something like that, and just that's just too much work. Yeah, the fact that I just realized that you're you're pin your tunic. Not today, Satan. Yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> Boom. Boom. That's, that's probably the best thing for a tunic, but I feel like you need to put like on a sweet piece of armor, like a skull cap or something. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the skull cap. How much I would have liked the skull cap over? Um, I don't know yet. Because having the Hope Merchant to, like, I mean, saved my ass. Um, way more than the Skullcap ever would. So. So much to learn in this game, dude. It's insane. Yeah, I mean, I like that they're all close. I'm probably not going to have time for another, by the way. We've been rocking for an hour anyway. And I really want to watch the end of the QAnon drama a documentary. That's on oh, HBO. Oh, I've seen that. I'll, I want to see that. I can just probably watch it tonight, actually. Is on HBO? Yeah, they just they just finished the series tonight, or well, probably over the weekend. Man, I wanted to get into that. Um, I'll, I'll definitely have to start watching it because it sounds extremely fascinating. Yeah, it's it's been kind of. I mean, it's kind of weird. Like it's it's coming across more, more as like an the eight chan rivalry more than QAnon stuff. So interesting. I'm not. Interesting. I feel like it's not as good as it could be because he's really right. just wrapped up in website drama. But whatever. But hey, before we end up, before we end this, for those of you who got this far along, one, why? Uh, and two, <laughs> um, two, Mitch, thank you so much. Is there anything that you are sure plugging? Thing, anything you want to, uh, anything you want to tell the world, um, before we go? No, man. Um, other than me being extremely amateur at playing, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just happy to be here, happy to support the game. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's kind of exceeded my expectations um, in terms of what the Midtown Merchant would turn into. Mm -hmm. um, and here to support you all. So if there's anything y'all you'll need, any changes you see, any questions you have, uh, feel free to reach out at midtownmerchant.com. We have a contact us page, and I'd be happy to help you guys uh, sort through that. Heck yeah. Mitch was actually gracious enough uh, way early on in this adventure for me to send me a ton of bulk. Um, I think you even sorted it, which was amazing. If it... I don't, I don't know if I went that far. I definitely sorted it by set. Uh, I got some. I got. I got two. I yeah, I don't remember. 
If I sorted it, it was somebody else who did all the hard work for you. So I'm glad right. to hear that. I hope that hope that was helpful, man. Somebody sorted so. it for me, and it, it saved me so much time, and I appreciated that. Um, but either way, awesome. either way, at the end of the day, you got, like, I've got these boxes up here. You can see them. There's just, yeah. those are my intro. That's what I'm bringing out. So there's, I got 15 intro decks per hero. Um, awesome. Awesome. And actually, since we haven't done this yet, I'm gonna let's let's play a quick game just just for fun. It's a guessing game. It's a guessing game. All right. The second that Bronson's Listen. comes out, I can't do it anymore because the answer will have been released onto the world. But I did learn to play event. Had five new people show up. Everybody loved the game. Somebody bought two boxes right out of the gate. That was cool. Um, one kid shows up. We we handed out free packs. Just hey, thanks for coming. Here's a free pack. Kid pulls a skull right. cap. Right. One pack pulls a skull cap. I'm like, fine. I was gonna buy packs. Anyway, here's the uh, here's the question. Everybody who showed up, the five people who showed up, got to pick two decks. Um, and and just take those, take them home. Um, they got to play with them in store. Uh, if they didn't like it, they can swap. Um, but at the end of the day, they took home two packs. Uh, two different two two heroes. Take a guess which hero was taken home the most. There are there ten decks were taken home. Who won the fight? Uh, New players. I feel, like I, I feel like you told me this. Let's see if you remember. You told, I I saw you, but let's see if I can remember. I think I, well, I think I put it on Facebook, so maybe you saw it. I think I do. I do. I think you put it on Facebook, but I I vaguely remember. So this is actually going to be a total guess. I'll take it because Bronson didn't remember or know. You said one one or two classes. What? What? I mean, you, you picked one. one or two classes. I had all eight classes represented. I know, but I might just pick one class. I'll just pick one. The one who you think, think people I took th home the most. I... Was it Dash? It was Dash with three. Three, yeah. three, three, three decks taken home. Dorinthia Viscerai. Kano. I feel like... Somebody, like two, like somebody literally came sorry, in and said, I want to get Kano. I want to figure him out. Okay. I mean, yeah. Let me try the hardest guy right off the bat. I'm and, terrified to try Kano, so. Yeah, and like he um, got like Reinar crushed him to pieces. Um, sure. But these yeah, are all blitz decks, right? These are blitz. Just easy. Yeah. It's 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 conservative. So, but anyway, hey. Um, well, one of these days, I mean, you're not far. So I'll just I'll just I'll just yeah. pop over to, uh, pop over to Tulsa. Mm -hmm. um, Let's do it, man. We'll, we'll just, do, we'll just drink do some beer crawls. Hell yeah, um, hell yeah! Or if you ever come back uh, to Colorado, uh, I will I will send my, you on a beer mom, tour. I'll send you a beer tour that'll make you look at housing costs. Um, all right. <laughs> my mom actually just moved from, ironically, from Parker, Colorado to uh, to Dallas. <laughs> so I found one brewery in Dallas that's worth it. Freakland. I I have not been impressed with Dallas beer. I'm actually a Dallas kid, so. Lakewood. I big. love Lakewood Brewing. Lakewood Brewing's Temptress. Yeah. Their Temptress stouts are litty titty. They're fantastic. All right, I'll and have to check it. them out. That's the only. That's the only brew I can give you. Sounds good. But anyway, awesome, um, dude. thank you guys so much for joining as we're as we're doing all of our shits. Uh, we're gonna go. I'm gonna log this this off. But yes, if you want to be a part of this, if you want to, if you want to just sling some beers and shoot the shit and talk about anything, especially if it's yeah. if it's Netrunner. Um, I'm more than happy to talk about other games, uh, which is odd for this channel, but whatever. We can also <laughs> brew. I'm doing something. I'm going to start a series with Midian gaming, uh, called brew and a brew, uh, awesome. where we deck brew and then drink awesome. beer. I think it works. Brew and a brew done for sure. Um, but yeah, reach out to me, shoot me a comment. Um, and then of course, as always, this, the typical content creator shit, subscribe and share it. And I don't know what else you do. It's YouTube. I'm new. I'm new. But I'm at 48 subscribers as of the recording this. Let's hit 50. Yeah. Anyway, cheers, y'all. Peace.